Welcome to your senior year, Eagles. My name is Robbie Johnson. I'm a counselor here at East for students with the last name P through Z. And I'm here to present some information that seniors need to know. Usually we present this um, in a class meeting here for seniors in the auditorium. Things are different this year. So we've decided to put together a presentation that you can access at any time. Um, you need to access it, but also for virtual learners that are not coming to campus, we we'll make sure everybody has this information. And so um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and go to presentation mode and get started. First thing that I want to talk about is the Google Classroom for seniors. Very important information is posted there, scholarship information information on when colleges are visiting our campus or any other kind of organization that might want to see students and you may have interest in. Graduation information is posted here. Um, it's an important place to check regularly. And so let me go ahead and show you one thing on the page. Um, if you click on the link, it'll take you to the classroom. And then at the top, you'll see classwork tab. If you click that tab, you'll see how everything is organized here um, by topic. There's college planning, scholarships, how to section, how to write emails in there now. There's graduation requirements posted. So the, the classroom helps us keep everything organized so you can find it faster. So I want to point that out to you, that classwork tab, the important one. Um, let's go back to our slideshow. And I know parents sometimes are invited to this classroom, and we would encourage you to do that. They can help you stay organized and on top of deadlines and things that are inside this classroom. Um, in addition to that, email is very important for you to check every day. Um, we post things in the classroom, and the classroom will send you an email to let you know that something has been posted. Um, so it's very important for you to communicate with your counselor as well as your teachers via email. So checking that every day is important. Uh, college visits. Um, College campus visits um, are up in the air right now. Some colleges have them, some don't. Um, but we do encourage you to try to visit one before you make a commitment to attend that college. Um, you do have two excused absences to visit colleges. And so if you're planning to go visit a campus, make sure you stop by the counseling office or the front desk and get an attendance form that you complete at the college with someone you're doing the tour with. Um, Ms. Metcalf and Ms. Aguillon has a copy. Um, also, there's a link here you'll see in the presentation. I'll click on it and show you two virtual campus tours. Um, this would be a good way to check out multiple schools kind of quickly and see what kind of how campus looks and some of the present, um, how they present their school to you. So if you look here, you'll see a lot of public schools, private schools. We'll click on App State here, Appalachian State of Boone, and click on it. It takes you directly to their YouTube channel. Um, and their YouTube channel will have a variety of videos that you can look at. Um, you can see here just many, many videos. Um, some may not apply to you right now, but um, many of these will. You'll be able to get an idea of how campus looks, kind of um, programs they offer. Scholarship information may be included here. Um, lots of information on each channel for each college. So check that out. Um, Recommendation letters. We do a lot of recommendation letters for seniors. And what the counseling department and any teacher would ask you is to please give us two weeks to, prior to your deadline to write that letter. Um, we have a lot of people asking us, and we want to make sure we write um, a great letter for you. And so to help us make that great letter um, is if you provide us a resume or a student information form. And um, I'll go ahead and click on the student information form link here. You'll see um, it has a few questions about your, your academic strengths, um, your activities and clubs, sports, volunteer work, work experience, all kinds of things that talk about you. And we want to write a great letter for you. And so having this extra information helps us make connections to what we do know about you and where you want to go and what you want to study, things like that. So make sure you um, complete this or one of the resumes to submit to teachers. Um, there's resume samples here as, a, here as well. Um, you can submit them to whoever you like. Maybe it's a teacher, your favorite teacher. Maybe it's a teacher in a, in a subject 
that you are interested in studying. Maybe it's a teacher that that just knows you very well. Maybe it's a community member um, that knows you very well, or maybe someone you do a lot of community service with. Those people are good people to write letters for you. Um, and also, um, if your deadline's coming up and you haven't heard from us, go ahead and send us a gentle reminder. Um, sometimes those are helpful. Um, transcripts. Um, I would say the most important thing here is to know that if you need a hard copy of a transcript to send to a school, um, that you make the, a request to Ms. Aggie on using the link here, and I'll show you that link. Um, it's very basic information, but we're doing it electronically now instead of on paper if we can. To keep up with it, submit this information. She'll put the transcript in a sealed envelope, stamp sealed um, with our school stamp and sealed um, for um, to make it an official transcript. And then you come by, you pick it up, you put a stamp to mail it as well as the address and you put it in the mail. Um, that way you know when you mailed it and to who you mailed it as well. It takes all the guesswork out for us in, in the office. Um, um, Common App will uh, ask for a transcript. That's something we upload as your counselor. Um, also, you can send transcripts to schools through the CFNC website. Um, those links are all here on the, on the PowerPoint as well. Uh, SAT and ACT registration. Uh, here's the websites for those um, organizations if you want to retake the ACT or take the SAT. Um, if you have an ACT account, um, from when you're a junior, you should, if you took the ACT here in Henderson County, go ahead and use that same ACT ID number. That way the two scores will be connected. Um, if you need that number, contact your counselor or see Ms. Aguillon um, in the counseling office and she can help find that for you. We have a few fee waivers as well. Um, there are requirements that meet the, to meet the, you have to meet the requirements to get a fee waiver, but we do have those if you feel like that's something you could benefit from. Scholarships, a lot of questions about scholarships. And the scholarship bulletin is on the Google Classroom. And while most of those are not available quite yet, late fall, early spring, there are some now posted already in the Google Classroom that you can apply for. Um, I wanna go ahead and show you this bulletin um, so you have kind of an idea of how it works. You'll see it says scholarship bulletin number one. That is the first one that was posted to Google Classroom. Um, and there's information there about a scholarship or multiple scholarships sometimes. Then you'll see bulletin number two. That was the second post that was made about scholarships. There's here's multiple scholarships here in this second post, third post, et cetera. So this um, Google Classroom and this document are very important if you're interested in trying to find some scholarship money. Um, also, paper applications sometimes are required. And we have those in the office, in the counseling office, and your counselor can help you find those, or Ms. Aguillon, um, and if, or we can email it to you and you can print it out and fill it out and complete it at home. Sometimes it requires it to be brought back here to school to us, but we can work all that out once we get to those scholarship opportunities. Um, always ask your counselor if you have questions. Um, sometimes you can also find scholarship information on the website for the school that you're thinking about going to. So. Um, we post everything that would come through our office, but sometimes schools have their own scholarships. And so if you're, if you're really set on going to Appalachian State, for example, you should look through their website and talk with their admissions people about scholarship opportunities. Uh, academic honors and graduation cords. Um, we get a lot of questions about these in the spring as we head toward graduation. I want you to know that the best thing to do is if you think you've earned one of these type of things is to talk with that department or that teacher about them and make sure you fit the requirements and they know all the specifics. Um, this document does have, as you can see, um, information on those different um, honors. Um, there's an NC Scholars honor. There's uh, Henderson County CTE Scholar. There's a North Carolina Art Scholar. Mr. Wallace would be a great person to talk with that, about, talk to about that. There's a Second Language Scholar. Um, so please talk with those departments and your counselor. If we don't know the answer, we'll find it for you. Okay, moving on to college application weeks. Usually it's one week. This year it will be two weeks, October 19th to the 30th. Um, we use the CFNC website for that. Um, and many, during this two weeks, many 
North Carolina universities, public, private, and independent, will all waive their application fee to students um, that apply during this time. And so um, it's a great way to save some money because if you apply to 10 schools, five schools even, that's a, that adds up. And so let me just click on this link to show you the list of schools um, that are applying, uh, not applying, but that are available. So you'll see that yes column means that they are waiving it and the no column means no. So, you know, you can go ahead and apply to the schools with a no now and, if, you know, but if you want to save some money, go ahead and plan ahead, get your documents ready and then apply during these two weeks for these other schools. That'll save you a little bit of money. Okay. Um, again, we'll have some time during those two weeks for counselors to offer support. Um, one of the ways that you can go ahead and be prepared is also to go ahead and look at your residency determination um, and make sure that that, that document all that documentation is done and you have that number that you can use to, to put on your applications for those schools that you're interested in. You'll see other videos that um, talk about RDS as well as scholarships and things like that. They're all posted in the um, Google Classroom um, to help with that more in depth. Common App, this is um, a website that a lot of our North Carolina schools use. So you do one application and it's sent out the same application, the same letter of recommendation um, is all sent out to the same to the, the same information is sent out to the schools and so um, you'll find that um, link to those apps when you go to the school website and you start to apply and then you can or you can go to the common app directly and find out which schools are um, a part of that you'll need your counselor information um, here the email address that sends us um, an email to complete some work on our end about our school and about you um, and so this is another reason it's important to go ahead and do a letter of recommendation form for, for your counselor because a lot of them will ask in Common App for the counselor to do a letter. So go ahead and submit that information so we can get started on writing a great letter for you. Cap and gown ordering. Um, we're not there yet, but we will be soon. Details for that will be posted in Google Classroom. Um, I've posted here the website for the company we use, um, wncgrad.com. Um, you can order cap and gown, but also sweatshirts, t-shirts, other graduation related materials um, through them. And so just check the Google Classroom for that information. Questions. Um, if you have questions, please reach out to your counselor. Let's schedule a time to meet um, and to do that. We can do that virtually or we can do that in person. So whatever fits your schedule. Um, virtual students, if you want to come in to do this in person, that's great. Um, just arrange that with us and we'll, we'll make it happen. You will have the email addresses here for all the counselors. Um, Ms. Hill, last name's A through G. Ms. Bollinger, last name's H through O. And I'm Mr. Johnson, last name's P through Z. So if you have questions, let us know. We're here to serve you. Go Eagles.